What's up, everybody? This is Roger Del Martin of Vengeance Rising. Today, we're going to be looking at the Devil's Interval. Wow! Remember, we're tuned to E flat, so let's just go ahead and do a quick tune, everybody, with the basses. Let's go for it. E flat, A flat, D flat, and G flat. All right, we're going to be looking at what's called the Devil's Interval. In the major scale, which uh, we, which basic, it, it, it's the basic of Western music. Okay, the major scale. Um, it's very happy. We use a um, uh, we use a derivative of that, but even in this happy major scale, there's something that's diabolical that happens, and I'm going to show that to you right now. The distance between two notes is called an interval, okay? And we have degrees of the major scale. Let's count them: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we go back to the octave: seven, six, five, four, three, two. Okay. The distance between two notes is an interval, so this would be a second. Not too bad. That's an interval. Here's a third, a fourth, a fifth. So the fourth is a perfect fourth, or perfect fifth. Right there, we can go back and forth. Very pleasing sounds. Now between the fourth degree and the seventh degree is another interval. It's called a tritone because we skip three different tones, okay? We're going over that many different tones of tritone. And let's see how it sounds. Let's, let's find the fourth and the seventh. Ready? Here we go. Three, four, remember that eight, that's a, that's a fourth. Five, six, seven, which would be a C sharp. Here's the interval. Mm. It sounds like my, my alarm clock because it's, it's, it's definitely, the alarm clock is actually uh, an embrace of the devil interval. Also, there's a siren. Over in London, the sirens sound like that. It's real jarring and it's, it's designed to wake you up. Okay, um, but uh, people call it the devil's interval because it just doesn't sound uh, pleasing, okay? Uh, the great composers, um, let's say Bach, Mozart, uh, Beethoven, they, they steered clear of the devil's interval because it doesn't sound good to them. Uh, the early church leaders during that time, you would dare play the devil's interval, so you might conjure up the devil. Um, but uh, I really don't like that term. I think that God created music for us to enjoy, and I don't feel like it's the devil's interval. I feel like it's the human's interval. God made it for us. But anyway, um, it, it's always been uh, perceived as evil, uh, and, and uh, low growling sounds are perceived as evil, like a dog barking, something like that, okay? Now, as Vengeance Rising, we tuned the basses down from A440. That's why we're a half step down, to give it a more of a <clears throat> sound. And also, we want to play this Devil's Interval. There, there was a band that uh, really um, took advantage of that uh, by the name of Black Sabbath, okay? They actually had a song called Black Sabbath, and, and I will play you that song basically, and it's basically the devil's interval. It goes like this. Okay, and there, there, there's the fourth and the seventh. Uh, you can go this way. Uh, you can invert that. Devil. 
and sinful were up there, okay? Jesus said in uh, the book of Matthew, chapter 10, verse 16, he said, I am sending you out like sheep among wolves. So be as sneaky as snakes and as innocent as doves. So uh, when Ventures first started out, even before we had the people together, we, we felt like, uh, Doug and I felt like that uh, God was sending us out. And, and he, he, he really, really was. And we were definitely uh, sent out like sheep among wolves because the speed metal thrash genre uh, basically embraced Satanism. Uh, that's what it was all about. They prided themselves on being... Uh, uh, satanic. Uh, they, they prided themselves on uh, making a mockery or trying to make a mockery of Christ. Uh, uh, when we were learning about the music, we listened to Slayer, which is up front, satanic, uh, a band called Venom, and uh, Celtic Frost is, uh, was in that group of, of people. And the people who really listened to this, they, they, they felt like uh, if it's not satanic, it's not black metal. And they still feel that way, some people do. Uh, to them, there's no such thing as uh, white metal or unblack metal. So we had to be real sneaky. And as we snuck in this devil's interval, basically all over human sacrifice hell. And today we're going to look at one example. We're going to look, actually touch on a couple examples, but we're going to look at the song, uh, I Love Hating Evil. And we're going to be looking at the bridge section and how we use the devil's interval. We snuck that in. To make this bridge sound really mm, ba, you know, uh, really bad. Okay, so uh, I'm, what I want to do is play a little bit of the verse beforehand, so we'll, so you'll kind of know where we're at. Uh, the verse kind of goes like this. lick. Um, it, it's a five note lick. One, two, three, four, five. We're, we're, we're looking at the E note, an F sharp, C, B, and a G. And let's look at the rhythm. Let's learn how to play this lick. It's not too hard. Uh, basically we're in four four time, which means you got four beats per measure. We're going to count fours. So one, two, three, four. And a quarter note gets one beat. So we're basically playing all quarter notes, okay? There's five notes. One, two, three, four, five, okay? On the third beat, we're going to add an eighth note, all right? So let's, let's kind of get ourselves a, a rhythm going here. It's like one, two, three, and four. 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 All right, so we got the rhythm down on that. Um, but let's take once again. Let's let's take a look at this uh, devil's interval, which 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 would be like this. All right, there we go. It's the fourth and the seventh. You can just go from the bottom, or you can come from the top. It's the devil's interval. And what we did, we snuck that in uh, uh, between the second and the third note. It's like E. That's it. The F sharp to the C. this this lick over and over for 32 different times. Once we get started, Larry Farkas grabs his Les Paul, cranks the dang things, and proceeds to melt our face off with a solo. Woo! But we're still playing this mean lick in the background. On measure number 32, we're going to add 
we got to get out of this bridge somehow. What we're going to do, we're going to add another eighth note to the fourth beat. We're going to end it on one. So what it's going to sound like, it's going to be like this if we analyze it. One, two, three, and four, and one. Add, a, add an eighth note on the four. One, two, three, and four, and one. Let's end it again. One, two, three, and four, and one. Just like that. Okay? Fantastic. All right. So, <clears throat> most bands would probably play this and end this like this. So, uh, this song is actually about 144 beats per minute. It's pretty dang quick, okay? So, let's go. Let's end it. Now, that's how we would do it. A normal band would go. There's a musical term called free time, uh, which means you do not have to stay with the meter. We're not in jail with this meter. One, two, three, four. I'm in jail with a meter. I'm in jail with a meter. In free time, we're not in jail to the meter. Okay, and we love that. We embrace that as vengeance. What we could do. Uh, at the very end of this, this very 30 second measure, we're going to slow this thing down. We did it intentionally. Um, uh, a lot of times, we, we want to manipulate you, and we did. And we did that by we're creating a, a, your heartbeat. Vengeance does not have perfect uh, meter. <laughs> no way. <clears throat> but we knew how to slow, slow things down, and we knew how to manipulate your heart. Okay, so we have this beat going on. On the very last one, we're going to slow this bad boy down like this. What that would do is slow your heart down. Because everybody's with it. And then... Slam into a real quick part and just joked everybody. Okay, so, so what we did, we just slung everybody around the room. We were sneaky. It worked. Vocals were sneaky, like a dog barking. <laughs> got us in there. It definitely got us in there. Also, the devil's interval, I don't like it. I think it's a human interval. We do uh, the Devil's Interval also on a song called Human Sacrifice. We put it in the course. We said, forget this. We're going to hammer it down on the course of Human Sacrifice. It goes like this. Devil. Devil. No, it doesn't. What it does, it says human. We're taking back what the devil stole from us. It's like human sacrifice. Sacrifice. sing and play at the same time. But that's how we did it, folks. God helped us. You helped us. So let's rock on. My name is Roger Del Martin from Vengeance Rising. Come check out my website. Hang on a minute. I need a drink of coffee. Mmm, boy, is that good. We'll see you homies next time. Woo!